Today we're going to be talking about our ancestors and how they made themselves attractive to the opposite sex. That's why Donald and I are dressed as sexy Egyptians. This is demeaning. So, how much did the Egyptians have to drink before they found this erotic? I think we have our outfits the wrong way round. What? Well, like guys wore massive wigs and jewellery? Yes, and women would sometimes reveal their... Um... Amongst the higher classes, both sexes would shave their heads because hair was seen as unhygienic. They had a big lice problem. So Cleopatra was like a massive slaphead? Probably. I can't see Julius Caesar getting a lob on about that. Well, actually, he was very into hair removal. Romans valued hygiene very highly. You look nice today. Oh, thanks, Hutton. Have you done something different? Just a bit of rouge. Makes me look healthy. Oh, it's nice. What's it made of? Crocodile dung. Oh, really? What? Oh, I have to touch that face. Sometimes with my mouth. Could you not spread animal feces around it, please? Uh, a moment ago you said it looked nice. That was before I knew it had come out of a crocodile's rectum. What's that line below it? Oh, it's just a bit of contouring. It makes my cheekbones look sharper. Oh, and that's preferable, is it? Oh, don't start. What's it made of, this contouring? It's just a bit of poo. Poo? As in your actual poo? What is the problem? Everyone uses human excrement to make themselves more beautiful. So what if I drink piss? You drink your own piss? Yes, Cassius, I drink my own piss. Some of us like to make an effort for our life partners. But piss, Flavia. Surely there's something else that can do the job other than gargling your own piss. I'm sorry, but why can't I take care of how I look, yeah? Urine disinfects, prevents cavities and makes my teeth pearly white. I'm worth it. Yeah, but your breath stinks of piss. You've got multiple varieties of poo smeared across your face. Well, you're knobbing the house, slave. You leave Felix out of this. How could fashion kill a Victorian? In lots of ways. The fashions of the time were highly risky. Corsets, for example, would be bound so tight they actually move your organs. Ooh, like put your stomach in your neck. Maybe not that, but they definitely crack your ribs. So when women swooned, they weren't in love, they were just passing out. Precisely. And before wired hoops came in, Victorian dresses had so much material that they'd be exceptionally heavy. As you were laced in so tightly, if a woman fell into a lake or canal, she would almost certainly drown. Then just stay indoors in your big old death dress. Ah, well, there you had other dangers. Muslin and silks are very flammable, so it was well known for Victorian ladies sitting by the fire to suddenly burst into flame. Yeah, I wish I'd known that before I did the next bit. Hi guys, I'm here with my best friend Emily and third best friend Megan doing a historical makeover using all historical products. So exciting! I'm using Belladonna eye drops from Renaissance Italy, which are going to make my pupils super big and sexy. They were made of deadly nightshade, so I better be careful not to use too much. Hi guys, I'm using a complexion whitening Victorian face cream made of vinegar, chalk and arsenic. Isn't that poison? Yeah, but so is Botox and that's fine, isn't it? My vision's gone all funny. And I'm using Faux Radia Rejuvenating Cream from the 1920s. It's going to make me look even younger. What's it made of? Seriously, guys, I can't see. It says radium, but I don't know what that is. Guys? Oh, my face feels weird. How bad is radioactive? Why can't I see? Guys? Guys, are you there? My sight came back eventually. Emily didn't make it. It's time for the red hot sex quiz. So please welcome my mum's supermarket delivery man. No brands mentioned. I need somebody to sign for this. In a minute. First, we're going to do a quiz. What? Do you want to get in the tub? Mum's delivery man. My name's Vasily. Your questions all about the rules of attraction start now. What did the ancient Mayans think made them look powerful? A. Carrying a big bunch of keys. B. Having a massive head. Or C. Eating two sandwiches in one go. Um, you've got a couple of substitutions. I'm going to have to push you for an answer. Uh, B? Correct! They would bind babies' heads with wooden boards to make them grow long and cone-shaped as a sign of status. 
Which of these was once big in Japan? A. Black teeth B. Eye patches Or C. Wooden legs Eye patches? Sorry, no, it was A. OK. We didn't have any vine-ripened tomatoes, so you have cherry tomatoes. Also... What did the 16th century French do to make themselves beautiful? When does this end? Because I have quite a few more deliveries to do. A. Put stickers on their faces. B. Hire ugly people to walk with them. C. Dance everywhere instead of walking. Um, stickers. Yes, well done! So many were scarred from lead-based makeup and smallpox that they started wearing pretty patches on their faces, like stars and moons and beautiful squares. Oh, we're out of time. Vasily, you scored two points. I've never been happier. Can I go now? <laughs>